Mr. Narasta, prior to September 11th, 2001, how many individuals had flown airplanes into the World Trade Center and killed 3,000 people? Uh, zero. Thank you. Mr. Scott, how many gotaways have there been? 1.7 million known. That means there's evidence, video, whatever. But I can't give you an estimate on how many we don't know in the hundreds of miles of border that are not being patrolled. Mr. Norasta, where are those 1.6 million gotaways? They are most likely at different places in the United States. Who are working they? Working and living. Who are they? Well, there are probably people from different countries around the probably. world, Probably. Probably. People from all around well, the world. They are from different countries around right. the world, yes, sir. Yeah. How many different countries? Uh, well, if the data that we have uh, about those who are apprehended is any indication, a uh, large number of countries, probably about uh, 162 of them from all over the world? Probably, yes, sir. Right. You willing to bet your family's life, my family's life, on the safety of in our country, irrespective of who these individuals are when you don't even know who they are? Uh, yes, sir. The chance of dying from a foreign-born terrorist attack since 1975 I'm is sure one that's, in 4.4 sure million Arasta, per Mr. year. Mr. Arasta, I'm sure that is great comfort to the families of the people from 9-11. Because when you sit here and testify that zero people have committed a terrorist attack from crossing our border, I'm sure that is comfort to the people who had terrorist attacks committed by people who came here and overstayed their visas. It is the no fact comfort the is, The fact of the, the matter victim. is, when you talk about having an open border, and you minimize the open border by saying that people have to pay $5,000 to come here in that open border, you're ignoring the fact of what that does to human beings when it is in fact so open that that's exactly what's happening. I'm sure that your position is great comfort to the man in Baltimore who was being held up for ransom for $23,000 so that his little girl wouldn't get raped in a stash house in Fort Worth. Have you talked to that little girl or to that father? Was he a terrorism suspect? Have you talked to that father, Mr. Narasta? Uh, no, I'm not aware of that terrorism case. What was his name? Have you talked to that father whose little girl was being raped in a stash house? No, I haven't. Is this right. a terrorism-related so you issue? Know, I'm answering the questions, and this is the subject matter I want to talk about in this hearing, Mr. Narasta, because you're the one sitting here trying to tell the American people that our border is perfectly fine. What's that it is perfectly okay. That it is, you know, oh, not open because people are paying five or ten thousand dollars to get here. So it is very much relevant that a little girl's getting raped in a stash house because of the policies of you and radical leftists who don't give a damn about it because it is more politically expedient for you to saddle up to the Libertarian Cato Institute or a bunch of radical leftists and talk about, oh, how important it is for people to free flow across borders. I have talked about the chaos repeatedly, the sir. The way to reduce the chaos is through legalization and liberalization, right. not cracking and, down right. more. Will, if you cared about the border chaos, that is the way to do it. Which will perpetuate the lawlessness, and you know it. Mr. Benzman.